All right, hey guys, what's up? Clayton Lindley here. So I have two things to talk to you about. I kind of roughly talked about it on my Instagram, so I'm gonna go more in the depth about what's going on. No, I'm not dying or anything like that. Right now I am waiting on my MRI for my hand, and the re- oh my, <laughs> I like squeezed my hand. Um, the reason why I'm waiting on an MRI is because on my 1080 fall, My last rotation when I actually fell, my hand got walked up behind like my body when I was falling before I actually fell off the ramp. So my hand, no one really knows what's wrong with it. So the day after the accident, I went to the hospital and they said that I had three boxer fractures right here. So I was like, okay, all right, makes sense. And they said that it'll probably start stop hurting in a week. I just need to rest it and ice it. Thought that was kind of weird, but I was like, whatever, I'll, I'll trust them, they're doctors. Two and a half months later, three months, I don't know how long it's been, it still hurts like really, really bad when I ride. So I went and got an MRI done and I'm waiting for results on that. I might have to get surgery, might not. Uh, I'm hoping I don't have to because I'm gonna have like, that means I'm gonna have like two surgeries in a month and I'll get to the second surgery later. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. I'm fine, I've, uh, it's like, I can bear it. I have like this cream stuff that they gave me and I just put it on my hand. I just like dab it on and then it kind of just helps it because I don't like actually taking legit medicine or anything. So yeah, everything should be fine, hopefully, fingers crossed. But anyways, getting into the second part of my earlobes. All right, so a lot of you guys know that I used to have inch and a half plugs, which is this big. So that's like, you know, Fairly big, it's like the size of my thumb. And I had them for, I think, four or five years. And I stretched it multiple times, like when I was in Scoot Fest in 2014, I had them in. So um, the reason why I'm getting them sewn up, I mean, of course I like kind of regret it, but I'm also like thankful that I did it because it's something that I can say that I've done and I have pictures of me with this in my ear. And I honestly think that's kind of cool, just something I can say. It's also like having tattoos. I mean, you can get rid of tattoos. It's a way longer, more expensive process, but I mean, the fact that I have a sleeve is like something I'm happy with and I know that I'm gonna have to live with it for the rest of my life. And with ears, it's like you can stretch it pretty much as big as you want. There's a certain point where it's like you don't want to go to because your ears just look disgusting and you look like a freak. But that's only to some people. I thought it looked cool and um, not many people really knew I had them because I had such long hair at the time. But now that I have short hair, uh, you can see my lobes a lot easier and a lot of people give me a lot of crap for it. And uh, during Christmas, my grandpa asked me, he's like, hey, Clayton, um, if you would like to get your ears sewn up, I'm glad to pay for it. And I was like, awesome, like might as well because I'm kind of over like actually stretching my ears now because I'm just... You know, I feel like more of an adult and that's more of like a thing that I did when I was a kid and trying to be rebellious, but at the same time, um, if you guys are looking to get plugs, I mean, honestly, try it, who cares? It's about a grand to get your ears sewn up, but that's just because it's as big as mine, but normally it'd be like maybe 200 to $400 an ear and it's an hour and a half surgery, so, and then it takes a week to heal. In reality, um, I'm happy I'm getting it all sewn up because I'm gonna get to see what I look like now with not ears that are going down. Like I said before, I don't regret doing my ears. I think it's cool that I did it. It's something that I can kind of go back and think, wow, like that's something under my belt and it's kind of more like a bucket list type thing. So, I mean, if you guys are gonna do it, I'm not saying to not do it. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. I feel like don't do it if your parents are against it. My parents were against it and they got really mad at me. Just make sure you don't do that. I'm just gonna encourage you guys to not like ruin your body but once you get to the age where you're like able to make your own decisions just honestly like get a tattoo on your back get some earrings get a nose ring get a lip ring like who cares like if you don't like it you literally take it out and it heals up i mean it's not that big of a deal and if if you have a tattoo on your back that you do, that you don't like i mean the only time anyone's ever gonna see it is at the beach or something and people are oh what's that oh funny story i have tattoos like that and i mean like who cares like who cares what people think be yourself don't worry about what other people think just do what you think is cool exactly like scootering you know same thing but hope you guys enjoy this video tomorrow when this video drops i'll actually be in my surgery and i'm almost to 100k so if you guys want to go check out my instagram help me get to 100k that'd be sick but yeah guys thanks for watching uh make sure to check out our other videos uh like the video if you liked it go watch a few other videos we'll have a link at the very end of this video where you can just click on something and see if you like it Follow Will on Instagram at WhiteTrashWilly. Follow me on Instagram at ClayLindley. Follow Undialed on Undialed TV. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.